Today I'm going to show you how to clean your patio pavers without knocking out all of your sand. If you pressure wash this, you'll knock all that sand out and you have to redo the whole, the whole deck. I don't want to do that. I take my bleach, I spray on here, and there, if there's any tough spots, I'll come back with my wire brush from my pool and I'll just hit it a little bit with that and then spray the bleach again and let it sit. I'll come back a little later, a couple hours later, and rinse it off, clean as a whistle. This way, all I have to do is take some sand and sprinkle in certain spots just to get it to uh, fill in my cracks. I sprayed this about a half hour ago, and you can see the difference already between this and this. This will get bright almost instantly, but whatever doesn't get bright, you come back and spray another coat of bleach on it, and you'll hit it with that brush. and It'll really whiten it up. These are my two best friends when I'm cleaning my decks, a garden sprayer and bleach. And I just cover everything. If I see dark spots, like I said, after I spray it, I'll come back over and hit those dark spots again. If I need to, I'll grab the brush, which I will, there's a lot of stuff on here, and I'll just hit it a little bit with the brush and loosen it up. This stuff really works well though. Have a couple of heavy spots that are stubborn. All I do is run this across it a couple times, spray the bleach on it again, and it'll get it white. I'm letting the back soak in and I'm going to go ahead and hit these front pavers. Brick is real porous and it's going to absorb anything that's on top of it. So if you have water on here or if it rained earlier and it's wet, don't do it. Do this when it's nice and dry. That way it soaks it in real quick. So I'm going to hit the front while the back is uh, soaking and you'll see how fast it cleans this. I use full concentrate uh, bleach on here. I don't dilute it at all because I really want the full effect of it. I want to get this clean. After it's finished, you'll want to rinse it off good with the hose. But I'll let it sit there for hours. It doesn't matter. If I have to go somewhere, I'll go somewhere and then come back and then rinse it off when I come back. It's not going to hurt anything. This takes every bit of five minutes to spray it, if it takes that long. And then you let it sit for a little bit, you can spray it another time and then rinse it. That's it. Now that everything is clean, I bleached it, it's time to go through and check for maintenance issues. It's not hard to keep up these pavers. They're very easy to keep up. But sometimes you'll have some sinking pavers like this. And the problem is, water over time breaks down this polymeric sand. And that polymeric sand, once it breaks away and it doesn't seal this, Water gets down to the sand bed below and it sinks it. It causes it to drop down and your pavers will drop. So you come back, you can raise these up very easily, put a little bit of sugar sand under them or play sand, pack them back down and you put your, your polymeric sand back in there and seal it up. That's all there is to it. A little bit of maintenance once a year on your pool and you'll keep these pavers up forever. So I'm going to show you how to take this out. When I work with pavers, I always use a white hammer. I never use the black end because the black part will make marks on your on your brick. So you use the white part to tack it in or take it out. And I'm going to show you how to take it out. All you need is some type of uh, sharp edge. This is a small flat bar. You can use a painter's knife or a putty knife to do that. You scrape this out a little bit. The polymeric sand. And you get you a place where you can get in between it. So you take your hammer, tap it lightly, and you start working it. You get it close to the edge, and it'll, it'll pull up. I'll tap this one down next to it, help me get this one up. Once it comes up, you just pull them out. Anybody can do this. I just take a little of my sand and I fill it in. If 
I have a hole down there and it wants to keep going, I'll take a hose and I'll, I'll just let water trickle on here and I'll put the sand and the water will drag this sand down to the bottom of that hole so you can fill up big cavities. Sometimes we have to really bump some sand under them. But on here, this is nothing to it. It's just a tiny washout. Let me give you one suggestion. Take a picture of the section that you're going to pull out before you pull it out. That way you can go back and look at this picture and know exactly how to put it back in. I always use my iPhone or if you have a camera phone, take a snapshot of the whole area, especially if it's a big area. And you can go back and look at each piece and make sure that you have it right. Like this, this, one's going to like this, here. See how this still wants to drop down right here? I need to put a little bit more sand right there and bring up this corner. You always want to use a rubber mallet when you hit this. You will crack these bricks if you hit them too hard with anything. So you just tap them down and use a rubber mallet. That's all there is to this. I'm going to sweep it off and put my sand in there. I keep this with me all the time at my house because you want to be able to patch this up anytime you need to. If Put it all around and you just sweep it in. Take your broom and you go back and forth around it. And you'll hit all of your pavers that you need to fill in. I have some spots that are that need to be filled back in. And I'm gonna go around the whole pool and check everything. The only thing left to do is to wet this down. Don't use your hose to do it because you're going to wash it away. You want a fine mist. You'll just mist it all around. That way you won't wash it out, but you'll seal it good. This wets it. You see this right here? I don't want this to stay on here. You see how that is? Right there can get sticky and it'll stick on the top of that brick. So I'm going to sweep that off on an angle. Just brush it off. Anything that you see on the top you just brush off. Well, that's all there is to it. You spend a couple of hours a year on your pool getting it all cleaned up and re-sanded, and it's going to last you forever. I'll see you on the next project, and don't forget to subscribe.